The 2019 Easter bombings were one of the worst in Sri Lanka's history. Six coordinated suicide bombings across the country left everyone stunned. Churches and tourists were particularly targeted. Later that day, two smaller explosions also jolted a housing complex. 269 people lost their lives to the attacks. The incident had raised eyebrows over Sri Lanka's security situation, but no concrete evidence came to light joining the dots. Four years later, a British television report has made a chilling claim that the Sri Lankan intelligence has complicity in the bombings. A man was interviewed by the channel 4 News Firm. Now He claims to have arranged a secret meeting between an Islamic extremist group and a top Sri Lankan intelligence official in 2018. He claims the meeting was to hatch a plot to jeopardize the security situation in Sri Lanka. Soon after the bombings, security camera footage was released of the perpetrators. The man claims that when he realized that the suicide bombers were the same people who met the intelligence officials, the claims don't end with this. Reportedly, there was also politics at play. The intelligence official believed that creating a national security crisis was the only way to bring back the Rajapakshas back to power. That's exactly what happened. The bombings took place in April of 2019 and within the next seven months, Rajapaksha was sworn in as the president and his brother Mahinda Rajapaksha was chosen as the prime minister. Rajapakshas have also been accused of obstructing law enforcement process. It was quickly understood that national Tiawith Jamaat were behind the bombings. Now, this is a group inspired from the Islamic State, but accusations suggest that Rajapakshas had also associations with the NTJ and that they made it hard for the authorities to arrest its leaders prior to the bombings. The Rajapakshas even blocked a full investigation after the attack. These shocking claims have prompted an official probe in Sri Lanka. Ranil, Ranil Vikramasinghe, his government will appoint a parliamentary committee. The Labour Minister says details on the investigation will be announced soon. Now, Rajapaksha has branded the claim as an anti-Rajapaksha narrative and absurd. He claims he did everything possible to help the Roman Catholic community post the bombings.